right, welcome to part two of the web traffic data model. Um, this is part of a bunch of videos um, playlist. I'm hoping you're going to follow along. If this is in interesting, follow the playlist down below. We, in the previous video, I made a data model from web traffic. Now I'm going to make that data fit into the actual data model. I've just, the first video was to get the, the fields all SIM compliant. Now we're going to actually make it fit. So I'm going to, this one will be a little faster than network traffic because we've already done this principle. So it, this is just to reinforce it. We're going to come in, hit settings, go to data models. And I'm going to find the data model I want to put it in. Web, notice this is enterprise security. So out of the box, a bunch of data models are turned on. If I want to be able to modify anything, I'll need to edit the acceleration and turn it off. So I'm going to accelerate, turn that off, go in, and this is my code. Do I have, we're going to see if this query actually works. It shouldn't. There is nothing tagged web. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go to settings. Actually, we're going to go to manage apps, sim. Setup. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of here and find our web data model. And it has been restricted to Coralite. That's good. By default, usually they're not. I actually have it set to do Coralite, so that's good. If it didn't, if you have other ones in here, feel free to just write them in. Comma. Nice list. Comma separated list if you need more. I'm just going to cancel because I'm Let's make sure it, kept, it should have not copied that. Interesting. Set up, make sure it didn't. It kept my correlate there. Yeah, it's still restricted to correlate. Cool, now I just need to tag things. So we're going to come in here, settings, event types. That's where you tag stuff. I need the tag of web. So we're going to make a new event type. Put it in my app. Lame there's my YouTube the YouTube and we're going to call this uh, tag web and index equals core light source type equals core light HTTP and then I'm just going to put the web if there was more than one it'd be a comma separated list move this priority down to 10 so it doesn't interfere with any other priorities Hit save, find web. Permissions, make it available to everyone. Read, write, save. All right, now if I run this, I should get data back. And I do. All right, so then we can write our tstats command, tstats uh, count from data model web. And if I don't know what it is, I just go look into web. It's going to be web, 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 web. We're good. Okay. So if I tstats data model equals web, I should get back some results and group by web dot dest IP. Help if I wrote dest. So not do, 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 do. And it's not dest. I'm retarded. There is I dest IP is only in one data model. All the rest of these are desks. Come down below and I'll see dest. Dest and source, not source IP. That was just me being forgetful. All right, well, that's not very helpful, the unknown. Interesting. Why? Uh, 
Oh, these are not SIM. Look at that. I messed up. And this is a good example of what happens if they're not SIM compliant. So we're going to flip that to a SIM compliant fill just to show it works. And then I'm going to have to fix that app. All right, I've run into a wall. I'll have to put this on my list of things to look at. I wonder if the newer versions of uh, Enterprise Security have some little caveats the way they're doing the SIMs. I don't know. My last video on network traffic, I didn't, the pivot didn't work and the network, the T stats did. My problem is I can't figure out what the uh, sub, uh, we know the data model is web. What's the, what's the, uh, the class anyway but if i come in here into pivot i look at the last 24 hours and i say hey give me the status it works i get a whole bunch of status codes i can add in show me the bytes out and so it's working the data is working not 100 percent sure why the t stats command isn't working but as long as it doesn't ultimately bite me down the road when i'm trying to uh, do correlation searches it's not a big deal it's working uh, and if I figure out a solution, I'll post a, I'll post it down below in the chat. Anyway, hope this helps. We've now got uh, network traffic and web traffic all integrated in as a data model. And hopefully that gives you an idea of how to do it with your own data. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja and hope you keep coming back.